Alright, have you pressed Boys. record? Yeah, pr yeah, oh shit, I've done that mistake oh, so <laughs> many times. Eh? Where's that intro I was looking for? <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. So sorry, it's been a long time between uh, episodes. Just life gets in the way sometimes and you just got to try and get out whenever you can. But a bit of a special one this time, got a special guest with us. I'll introduce you to everyone. Jimmy from Grab Me Gear. You, you would definitely know... The brand, the face, and everything. He's just, he's a guy who owns Grab Me Gear, the company. Um, just loves getting out like us, don't you, mate? That's right. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, been hanging to get here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you're in for? No. <laughs> After 9 p.m., it's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> you got and plenty of spare tyres with you, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we got Scotty. You would have seen Scotty before. He was at the group camp. He's the one. You're always going to be known as that bloke who supplied after wood. The wood guy. The wood guy. <laughs> <laughs> if he's the wood guy, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's not what you said before. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Brad from Dad 4x4 Adventures. He was on the last trip, so good to have you along again, mate. Thanks, mate. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, guys, we're on our way up to... Oh, I better tell them where we're going. <laughs> We're on our way up to Julemar State Forest. We're going to head up there and then... Oh, well, I haven't been before. Have you guys? Nah, I've no, I've been. No. You've like, been? I've been local, so, it, I mean, it's been a couple of years, but, yep. yeah, it'd be good to get back out there, actually. Well, it's really good to rely on someone else. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it better be a bloody good chance on that. <laughs> but what, how far are we away, mate? You reckon? Oh, it'd be a good half hour. Half yep. hour from here. Well, that's yeah. nice and easy. What is it, about 90 k's from Perth? Um, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's an hour's drive out of Perth. It's, yeah. it's a good place to go if you just want to do a day trip. Yeah, exactly. Well, we'll try and show you as much of the region as we can. I'm excited because I love going to new places. I can't believe uh, I've been there before. Man. Nah, so close to Perth. And yeah, it is exactly. So, well, nothing else to say. Let's get into it, boys. Yeah, find it. See you soon, guys. Yeah. Right guys, so one thing I didn't mention to you <laughs> in the intro was uh, we're waiting on old mate Mark. So I think Mark's about 15 minutes away maybe. Um, so we thought we'd take this chance to air down a little bit, make the corrugations better because I don't really know what I'm running into but there seems to be a lot of hill climbs and descents and that so I thought I'd give myself the best chance. So I'm going to go down to about 25 or 30, see how we go. Hey mate. How you going mate? Wow. What Excellent. time did you knock off? Um about four. <laughs> <laughs> We've really taken our time gotten here, mate. Yeah. You, yeah, you, no. you caught up well. Yeah, no, this is it. Uh, loaded up the night before. Yep. So So you're gonna had, run everyone. I had everyone. a wedding yesterday, so I had it loaded up on Wednesday. I better check your eyeballs. Yeah. You might still be drunk. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Guys, we're on the way in. We've let our tyres down. Uh, this is not what I expected. I expected sort of just flat gravel, um, which we're on now. <laughs> I expected a lot of flat gravel roads, and that's about it. But I'll tell you what, there's some uh, big bloody hills out here that would be fun uh, in the wet, I reckon. So I might have to come back in winter time. But isn't it just the best feeling? knowing that you haven't been somewhere and it's all new to you, you know? I reckon it's, there's no better feeling than that, but I can't contain myself, mate. It's the best feeling and it's been a bit too long since I've been out. I think we've got about six Ks to go or something. Scotty's leading the way. Um, and then we are got to get that fire going because I tell you what, the temperature's dropped a little bit and holy crap, we're going through water now. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. See you at camp, guys.
<laughs> oh, what's that doing in there? Bit of... No. <laughs> So guys, we've gotten to camp a little bit later than we thought. Thanks, Mark. Wank up. But um, no, I'm joke. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah. But Jimmy, as you'd probably know if you follow him on Instagram and stuff, is really a big fan of fire starting and um, loves building fires, don't you? And you've got bushcraft and stuff as For well, sure, don't you, mate? Yep. Yeah. So what is that? You said a fire log now. It's an eco flame fire log. Yep. They're yep. made locally in WA and you can get them from Bunnings. Yep. Um, some Bunnings have them, some don't. Yep. So if you just want to get a fire going quick and easy, yeah, exactly. You don't have time to use the flint. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> How long does that burn for then? Two or three hours. Though, really? Yeah. Well, so, who needs firewood? We'll just well, burn them, and that'll be our campfire. Pretty much. But, yeah, <laughs> well, just, and they're local, eh? Yeah, yeah, local. Yep. Just light up the ends of the paper yep. and done. It's the first time I've ever seen them in use here, but yeah, bloody brilliant, I reckon. We don't want to be stuffing around Always waiting for keep fire lighters. In the car, mate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, should. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Beautiful guys. Well, Jimmy's done a sterling job getting the fire going. Get some coals going, and there's dinner. I reckon That's we'll get it. dinner going. Sweet. Jimmy's got an unreal fire going. It's burning my bloody moustacher off. What are you doing back there? <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought I'd just say to you guys, we'll see, we're going to turn the camera off and I'll leave you with a little bit of footage of um, what everyone's doing for dinner. But tomorrow, just going to explore around, have a look around, see what this place has to offer. And then I'd love to take his around to see what every bloke here, how they set up their camp and everything. So, And we've got some real interesting cook-ups tomorrow night, eh, Jimmy? Yeah. Those ribs. <laughs> that he forgot. No ribs. <laughs> we'll tell you about that later. But guys, we're going to turn the camera off. I'll leave you with footage of these beautiful dinners that everyone's cooking. And we'll see you in the morning. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Alrighto, guys. We're here with Brad. Brad, mate, what are you having for dinner, dude? I've got... Uh, it's going to be a steak roll tonight. We've got beautiful. some steak. Trying some of your magic rub. What's that rub on it? <laughs> Look at that. Steak out. L absolute legends. Got a bit of egg. Yep. Bit of bacon. Oh, beautiful, mate. A few different sauces. Yep, couple of rolls. Cu couple of rolls and, and that'll be it. Awesome, mate. Quick and easy. Yeah, that's it, mate. And you're going to try a smash burger later, aren't you? Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> you better, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. A lot of different stuff going on at this camp, actually, guys. So I'm going to do a quick walk around. Um... People using different products, different things. So let's have a look. Scotty, hey, how you going? What are you guys doing going through was, the setup? I was actually showing Jimmy the bags. These are the custom bags that Jimmy made for me, and I was showing him where they go. Yep. Why I got them made that size. Go on so then. It's perfect reason, right? So I got my two burner sits under there. Yep. I had a lot of wasted space, so I measured it up, and I got Jimmy to make me a bag. That fits. What do you keep in there though, mate? That's all my kitchen gear. So Yep. So pantry. Pretty much, yep. yeah. And then like wipes and all kinds of stuff. Yep. So that fits up the side of my two burner. And then this bag, Jimmy, it's also a custom one. That has all my electrical lights, batteries, headlamps, yep. whatever. So is there a reason for the black? Do you just like the colour black like well, that? Everything else was in here is already dark coloured. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so gotcha. Went with the black. I like yeah, the black. No, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Awesome. Looks, Looks cool. good. Yeah, it does. It does, doesn't it? Sleek. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Now show us what you're doing for dinner. All right. So, 
Oh, here we go. Okay, there's your and tackle box. So where's your dinner? No. Here's my here's my cheapy uh, oven. Works a treat, but yep. I put some oven bag with um, some ribs in there. She's uh, ready to go. Is it ready to go? Is it? Yep. So how long has that been in there, mate? Um, so how long did it take us? I put them in at. Oh, it was only it about two hours or three hours ago, wasn't oh, it? it? Yeah, but it's probably been off for the last hour, so it's probably yep. about an hour's worth. Cooking. Yeah, beautiful. But yeah, it should be should be good. It was good last time, so I yep. can't say being wrong this time. Yeah, excellent. So well, that, and, that and some, uh, I've got some mashed potato to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And, and that that sauce. There's a sauce in there as well. Sauce in that. Yep. That'll go over your mash. Yep. How are you going to do the mash? I'm actually just going to heat it up in the pot. It's already pre-mashed, ready to go. So. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. See, that's good. Jeez. So you bring out pre-made meals mostly, or um, I, yeah, sometimes. Like I mean, that, pre-made that was, side dishes to make it easier. Yeah, and that yeah, was yep. that was easy because did it while we were driving. Yep. And I've got the I've even got breakfast pre-made thanks to you. Have, what is it, burrito? Yeah. We have breakfast burrito. Yeah. Ah, oh, my man! Yeah. Oh, I love, they're, they're great. So you just throw them on the fire yep. in the coals, yep. grill them up, melt the cheese. Yep. What have you got in them? Uh, bacon, egg, cheese, sauce. <laughs> my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely awesome. As I said, heap of different stuff going on. Oh, caught him at a perfect time, old mate. Jimmy, how are we going here, buddy? Good, mate. Good. Loving it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's at it. Coming along. I've got to flip it now. Oh, beautiful. So it's a bit of uh, hickory smoked barbecue butterfly chicken. Beautiful. And what's this crack. grill, man? Uh, that's a little Red Roads grill there. Yep. So it comes on the Red Roads fire pit and um, also comes with these awesome little legs. So I love just using that on its own. Yeah, magic. And you can Pl have an open fire. Yeah, plenty of bloody oxygen to go in there that's as well. It. Yeah, that's all you need. Quick shout out, Aaron from Bloody Go Camping, <laughs> mate, it. and Red Roads Co. You're a legend, mate. Absolutely awesome. On the fire, mate. Nothing better, eh? Beautiful, beautiful. So and how long do you reckon this will take the chicken? Ooh. So that's a full butterfly chicken, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I reckon overall it'll probably take about 45 minutes. Yeah, overall, beautiful, that sounds right. You want to get the smoke through it and... Yep. Yeah, and you got to have the corn. Yeah, the corn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> corn on the coals. That's Absolute. It. God, there's some heat coming from that, mate. That's it, a few sausages for uh, leftovers, yep. snacks next day. So it's a good thing about Jimmy, he brought, you know, a full chicken because he knew the big boys are going to be there to try I'm going to try it without him even bloody knowing. <laughs> no, nah, well done, Jimmy. Killing cool, it, mate. Cool. Here he is, the uh, WI Camping Adventures chef. How you going, mate? What are you doing, mate? Cooking up a cooking up a brew? Yeah, just a bit of Jim Beam. <laughs> What's up, mate? What are you... Oh! Just, um, no, can't show that yet. We'll have a look tomorrow, it, mate. You show us through the new setup. It's a uh, simple, simple Friday. Yep. Um, just some hamburgers tonight. Yep. Um, beautiful. Bit of hamburger, bit of salad, some brioche buns. Yep. Some secret sauce. Oh, beautiful. Bit of ketchup, you know. Where'd you get them from? Those brioches. Oh, they're from um, from Woolies, I think. Oh, look like a different yeah, brand. It says it's 100% Australian made. So, in Switzerland. In Switzerland, yeah. In France, no. Yeah, in we, France. we, 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 100%. So. <laughs> no, so, uh, first night here, everyone's sort of keeping it simple, but uh, as you can see from the setups, there's a lot of different stuff going on, so, um, <laughs> my dinner, I don't really need to show you too much. Smash burgers every day. Cooking, grilling, chilling. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's our dinner. That's every guy's um, dinner for tonight. Nice and simple, but I think tomorrow night, people are going to get a bit creative so but guys it's going to be camera off now and just sitting back with the boys chilling we will see you guys in the morning cheers guys Good morning guys, I've literally just woken up, uh, Brad's up and so is Jimmy, um, had a really good sleep um, but got woken up by the uh, the wildlife around here, it's bloody beautiful actually, it's a natural alarm clock, um, so just sort of just going to get up, start getting into the day, let the swags dry off a little bit because it was raining for about 3-4 hours last night just lightly and such a beautiful sound to fall asleep to, we've got a lot of exploring to do, um, we've got we're going to stoke that fire back up, um, get some brekkie cooked, um, see what everyone's having for brekkie, explore this beautiful area, see what we can find, see what we can get up to. I don't know what's going to happen, so um, we're just out there to have a bit of fun, so hopefully get some nice footage for you guys. 
or at least give you an idea of what the place looks like. But the main thing is, is just to let everything dry off a little bit. Um, so that gives us a good excuse to stuff around at camp a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we'll go back, get warm by the fire and um, get some bricky going. Cheers, guys. gone quite as expected the old weather snuck up on us um, started raining for like a good hour um, oh, the boys are just putting out the fire now responsibly and sending out a smoke signal what does that say uh, smoke rain rain go away rain rain go away <laughs> um, but yeah apparently that's all the rain that we'll get for the day but it was just enough to wet all our swags wasn't it Brad unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> it was just enough to make everything soak and wet, so we just thought we'd pack it up quickly, go and have a bit of an explore, and then find a nice camp later on and just sit back and relax. So anyway, let's see what we get up to today. I'm sure there'll be a couple of laughs anyway, so let's see if we can't get Jimmy's bloody cruiser on its roof. Cheers, guys. rain is going to make for a nice adventurous day. Uh, I think it's going to make it nice and slippery. It's already slippery just getting out of bloody camp. <laughs> that weather is only getting better. There's a bit of blue sky over there so that's a that's a good sign. Um, the first plan is to have a look at this bog hole area, see if there's a couple of hill climbs we can have a crack at. Um, but not being too stupid of course because it's, it's quite slippery as it is um, from that rain last night but a lot of fun to be had I reckon today so stay tuned. Are you going to go for it? Oh, mate, it's just a little hill. There's nothing there, is there? <laughs> We've all seen what the fried eggs do. <laughs> and Creeper's not here to pull me out. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having a play around and everything and uh, Jimmy's just gone for a bit of a drive to have a bit of fun and have a bit of an explore. Ho <laughs> ho Hey, did you say we're going to put him on the roof? Uh, we, I did say we want to put him on the roof, 100%. <laughs> so what we're going to do, are you just going to winch him back slowly, eh? Yeah, I agree, man. Yep. So we're just going to hook up to Jimmy's um, hitch there and just slowly winch him back because we don't want to make any sudden movements just to, so bloody doesn't tip. So he's done a beauty there. Well done, Jimmy. How you feeling there, mate? <laughs> Good camp spot. Come on, be honest. There's a bit of puckering going on in that cab right now. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> How do you feel, mate? That's better, <laughs> That's better right? Yeah. 
Oh, you're gonna open that door. Oh, shit. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna take forever to get it off that vinyl, mate. <laughs> oh, I did not expect Jimmy to create the footage for us, you bloody legend. Hey, Jimmy, it makes me having a wet swag look good now. <laughs> oh, well, hit it again. Let's go. <laughs> nice one, Brad. What winch is that, dude? Oh, that's the Smitty Bill. Yep. 10,000 pounds. Yep. That did it. No worries, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. You know, you can't go wrong with Smith in the name. Get out of it, you. Oh, yeah. shit. Look like bloody four-wheel drive action here. There's a perfectly fine track there, mate. <laughs>